It's another beautiful week of artists and lyrics, and I'm hopeful that everyone is good out there. My guest today is Akin Yemiju Tomide Friend. He's got a beautiful video titled Egberu A Thousand Tongues, and we're gonna have conversation on that song today. Join us for London edition of Artists and Lyrics on MZ Radio London every Thursday, 7 through 7.30 p.m. London time. Let's watch a little bit of Egberon at home video and my guests will come in. Thank you very much. I am Tommy Day. I can meet you fan. Because my stage name is Tommy Day with an alias, the wine server. So um, I hail from Ondo State and I'm married with a, uh, with a lovely son. I am also a logistics and I'm a, log a supply chain and logistic personnel. So I adopt good music from a very tender age, you know. So I, uh, it's just that is just where it means. However, I never saw myself as a singer. I never, though I knew I can sing, I love music, you know. I I joined the choir at some point, but precisely in 2014, the whole thing began. Like like, oh, okay, and it just dawned on me that year. At first, I struggled with it. Struggled in the sense that I was like. Ah, is not what I want to do. I mean, why all this music and all that? And how did this start coming? I started receiving songs divine, divinely, and I just I would just hear tunes, I would just hear lyrics, I would hear words, and then some it could be complete package. Some it could be that I need to work on. Now, finally, I succumbed to it. So I I gave into it, and ever since, by the social grace of God, there have been no looking back. So from that moment that I've decided. Let me come to myself, you know. One of the greatest challenges is finding the right producer to do a certain kind of song for you. Because if you have an interpretation in your mind and you don't have the right producer, the song with you, you the song when you hear it, you yourself will feel like, no, this is not what I want. So the journey is not so smooth, like I, I would admit truthfully. But I tell you, God has been faithful that the last video I did, I mean, I, I it was just like, okay, this was going to be my best, first video, the video of Elgar, and I was like, okay. Everything resources and all that. But God did it. In fact, the day we used, it was amazing. There was no disturbance. There was no everything was everything just went well. So I I know that God is the one at work and He's doing it. The challenges are not going to stop. Not going to stop. They will keep coming. So it's just for you to build your thick skin that when these challenges come, run to God. Just trust God that He will do it. When we were doing the first my first video, it was really an experience. So I was like, wow. A lot of this, you know, people that do video and artists and all, they go through a lot. Of, I don't know this how it is, but to be candid, it was fun, it was beautiful. You know, putting attitude to what you are singing, it's another thing and another experience. It's like when you need to dramatize things and all that. It's another beautiful experience that I would want to keep doing over and over and, you know, get myself used to. So, so far, so good. It's been awesome. It's been beautiful. And I bless God for it. You understand? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So let's talk about your song, uh, Egbert Ron A Thousand Tongues. It's a worship song which talks about God's kindness. You know, yeah. I believe your lyrics are straightforward to the point, but I'd like to ask you, if you have any expectation beyond treating the song 
as a praise song? Or is there anything more you want your listeners to take away from that song? Okay. Okay. Egberao, like we know, it's in your language and it means that a thousand tons. What are we talking about? It simply means a thousand tons is not even enough to praise the person of our God for all that he has done for the entire humanity. Not just Christians, entire humanity. You know, God's love abounds on all. What he has done is endless. And if you watch carefully, I am not talking about God's mercy not being enough to uh, uh, to praise him because of things he has done. Maybe my status changing. You know, I was once in uh, Ajegule, now in uh, uh, Atlanta. You know, I was once uh, in, with, without a bicycle. I couldn't even afford it, but now I can afford Lamborghini and all that. That is not the, the, the essence of my putting out this song or the essence of saying that the entire human tongue put together is not enough to praise this God. Look at from the very first verse, you said uh, uh, you took away the shame. The shame in the sense that for the Christian man, if Christ did not die and resurrect, is a shame. Christianity is in shame. We will, you and I will not have anything to talk about today. That alone is enough to ponder on. And all storms that may come my way. Now, the storm talking about what is a blockage for us before, from us being sons of God, from us being children of God, that we can talk about it, that yes, can, you and I can be bold to say, yes, I am the son of God. I am a child of God. Without remorse, without feeling like, I'm, 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 you know what you're saying, you a child of God. He removed those veils, he removed those blockage by his death upon the cross. So those are the essence of the world that build up to be around. And if you look into the second verse, talking about our sonship, how God made us his sons, royal priesthood, where uh, uh, first Peter, first Peter 2 verse 9, first Peter 2 talk about it, where we are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, you know, God's special possession. So this song is not just song that you sing, you resonate with the beats and the, 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 the groove, the groovy nature of the song and all that. So I want you to Take it as a personal song to you. You can do it as a song, as a family in the house, you know, in church, even at occasions, birthdays and, uh, and uh, anniversaries and, you know, occasions. I've had occasions where it was played. I've had places where they played it or another. So it is the song that resonates with all man, all race. So it's not just restricted to a certain set of people. You understand? So it is a song that gives you a reminder as an individual the person of god on in your life and the place of god in your life so a thousand tongues around is never enough even for the whole of 2023 <laughs> it's not enough to keep praising god thank you so much for giving us uh, uh more insight into that song you know you're here on artist and lyrics what can you say about this program Wow, 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 artists and lyrics. You know, I, I, the, the moment I came into uh, the knowledge of this program, I, I was very excited. Now, it's not because uh, uh, it, it just provides you the opportunity to, to, to show your face and talk. You know, it is uh, a program that stands as a voice for every upcoming, whether upcoming, uh, already established artist. It is a program that that you the opportunity to to tell the world what you have put behind and how you how the journey is and uh, what you are expecting and what is still being expected of you. You know, it's a program that avails you the opportunity to talk about your song, the production, the lyrics, and I I, I so much appreciate every brain behind this uh, 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 program. And I say that the good Lord will continue to strengthen and bless this ministry. In Jesus' name, thank you, sir. Amen. Thank you so much for that beautiful comment. Well, um, for this week, this is where we are going to be drawing the curtain on this uh, episode. And we really want to appreciate our big brother, uh, Tommy De Frank, for coming on this uh, uh, platform, on this show today to give us his experience and talk with us about his song. And I will say, be good to someone out there. Um, and by the grace of God, I will see you next week. Thank you so much.